it's not just on the streets of our CBDs that things have been heating up over the coronavirus. Things got pretty testy this week in Congress, too, when Senator Rand Paul accused Dr. Anthony Fauci, the liberal left secular saint of the pandemic, of lying to cover up his role as head of America's National Institutes of Health in funding research into, guess what, coronaviruses at, guess where, the Wuhan Institute of Virology. Have a look. Dr. Fauci, as you are aware, it is a crime to lie to Congress. Section 1001 of the U.S. Criminal Code creates a felony and a five-year penalty for lying to Congress. On your last trip to our committee on May 11th, you stated that the NIH has not ever and does not now fund gain-of-function research in the Wuhan Institute of Virology. And yet, gain-of-function research was done entirely in the Wuhan Institute by Dr. Xi, and was funded by the NIH. Senator Paul, I have never lied before the Congress, and I do not retract that statement. This paper that you are referring to was judged by qualified staff up and down the chain as not being gain of function. So what was, saying, let me take, finish. You take an animal virus and you increase its transmissibility to humans, right. you're saying that's not gain of function? Yeah, that is correct. And, and Senator Paul, you do not know what you are talking about, quite frankly. Things got even testier, if you can believe it. This is your definition that you guys wrote. It says that scientific research that increases the transmissibility among mammals is gain of function. They took animal viruses that only occur in animals and they increase their transmissibility to humans. How you can say that is not gain of function. It is not. It's a dance and you're dancing around this because you're trying to obscure responsibility for four million people dying around the okay. world from a pandemic. And, and, let's and Rand Paul wasn't having any of Dr. Fauci's attempts to redefine gain of function research. Watch him here demolish claims that what was going on funded by the National Institutes of Health, wasn't about making viruses more deadly or wasn't the sort of thing that might cause a global pandemic. Viruses that in nature only infect animals were manipulated in the Wuhan lab to gain the function of infecting humans. This research fits the definition of the research that the NIH said was subject to the pause in 2014 to 2017, a pause in funding on gain of function. But the NIH failed to recognize this, defines it away, and it never came under any scrutiny. Dr. Richard E. Bright, a molecular biologist from Rutgers, described this research in Wuhan as, the Wuhan lab used NIH funding to construct novel chimeric SARS-related coronaviruses able to infect human cells and laboratory animals. This is high-risk research that creates new potential pandemic pathogens, potential pandemic pathogens that exist only in the lab. Now, this is important because if Fauci, through intermediaries, funded gain-of-function research at the Wuhan Institute of Virology, the story of where the coronavirus came from becomes a lot more interesting. Already we know that the NIH, through another group called EcoHealth, funneled large amounts of cash to the Wuhan Institute of Virology for various projects, including research, yes, on bat coronaviruses. We know that there was a pause in that research from 2014 to 2017, as Senator Paul said, because of the controversies and risks around it. And we also know from Dr. Fauci's own emails that from the very start of the pandemic, he was concerned that gain-of-function research his agency was associated with could have been somehow tied into the pandemic. So even if you accept Dr. Fauci's incredibly legalistic definition of the term gain-of-function, the fact remains that he and the Obama administration were still collaborating with a Chinese lab controlled by the People's Liberation Army to take on risky research, and there has been zero accountability for that fact. At least, not so far. After the exchange we just watched, Senator Paul said he was going to ask the Department of Justice for a criminal referral into Fauci and whether he lied to Congress. It may not be possible to bring back those lives or livelihoods lost to the pandemic, but there may just be some justice for them after all.